Well, here's something you may not know. Nearly one in five new mothers experiences severe depression during or after pregnancy. A new study by scientists at Van Andel Institute and Pine Rest Christian Mental Health Services has found signs of inflammation in the blood can predict pregnancy-related depression. Dr. Lena Brundin, a co-author of this study, calls it a game changer. So thanks so much for talking to me about this. Tell me about this study and who was involved in it. So this was a longitudinal project where we met pregnant women over the entire course of their pregnancy, starting already in the first trimester and all the way up until after delivery in the postpartum. And at each of those time points, we met with the women, we interviewed them really carefully, and we took blood samples from them. And so at the end of the study, uh, the most important finding we have is that using markers of inflammation in the blood samples, we were actually able to predict who was going to fall ill with depression at later time points. This is going to be significant because when you see those markers earlier in the pregnancy, you'll be able to help the women. Yes, exactly. So it's very important with um, prevention. So if we know who is at risk, we will be able to take these women in to maybe to more frequent controls with the doctor to see the doctor more frequently and to do some starting out with lifestyle adjustment, different things we can do to help these women out. So in the best scenario, we could perhaps even prevent depression from arising. Do you think, I mean, we've certainly come a long way in terms of addressing depression and talking about it, um, ending the stigma. Will this study help that go even further? I hope so. I think there is so much to learn about depression. And just to uh, get the word out that there are biological changes in the body, inflammation is associated with depressive symptoms. Just spreading that information is really important, but that will help the understanding of this disease and help taking better care of these women and other people suffering from depression too. What comes next then, now after the study's all finished? Well, so there are a few steps for us to take. So our ultimate goal is to be able to use these markers in the clinics. And before we can do that, we have to double check at different, using different equipment, different hospitals. So we really have to do a bigger study with different centers involved and try to standardize those blood, blood markers. And that would really be the next step, helping us to bring it to the clinics. Well, it's quite a breakthrough. Very exciting. I really appreciate you talking about it today. Well, thank you so much.